Yeah. Full disclosure, I mean, I, I often see people drinking uh, them, and they look so good, but I've only had one in my life, and it was 17 years ago. It was the opening night of a show called Dream, a Broadway show called Dream that John and I met doing, and that was the response. An opening night was the response. Dead silence. Dead silence. <laughs> Nothing. I think you're still stunned. The uh, run of that show was nine of the most wonderful days of my life. I think. <laughs> but uh, this was before, you know, this was, well, as I said, it was 17 years ago, so it was before people had, could take their cell phones out and know what the uh, reviews were going to be right after the curtain came down. So around, around 11 o'clock, we were at the opening night party, and you could tell that people had gone down to Sardi's by the New York Times and brought a New York Times back, and all of a sudden the producers were all going... <laughs> And so I knew it was time for me to have my first martini. <laughs> and then nine months later, our little daughter was born. <laughs> How'd you like a martini,
song made popular by Les Paul, and uh, you know, I, I have to say, Harry, I'm, I'm sorry to call you out, uh, but what great records your dad made uh, with Les Paul, How I, uh, uh, Kiss Me Once, uh, that great uh, Harry Crosby, being Crosby's son, sits right over there. Well, we're fond of, uh, so fond of Les Paul. Les Paul lived in Mawa, New Jersey. Uh, we lived in Saddle River, and once in a while, Les Paul would come over, and every once in a while, he'd actually play the guitar, too. So it was, it was quite fun. And, and this guitar sort of modeled after the old gold top Les Pauls uh, that were made in the 50s. Uh, Bill Mole made this one in Springfield, Missouri for me just about, I just received it uh, five weeks ago. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to play a Les Paul number on it, and uh, like this and like that. So. Uh, that was for Bing, Bing, Les Paul and Bing Crosby. Right. Hey. Oh. Well, 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 well. Harry and I, Harry and I go go way back. Believe it or not, I can actually say I go way back with somebody. <laughs> we go. What we uh, we actually were on. Uh, we, we actually met uh, doing All My Children. Is that right? That's right. He was the guitar player in a tuxedo in one room, and I was in the Valley Dukes in another room, and. Uh, and then we ran into each other in, in one of the great rooms ever assembled. Actually, because of the great Rosemary Clooney, we both ended up at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. The singers salute songwriters. They saluted Holland Dozier Holland and Johnny Mercer on the same night. And in our room uh, was me and you, Joe Williams, Stephen Bishop, and Michael McDonald, and the two of us. And uh, I got to tie your bow tie. I still remember that part. And, and I remember just, yes, sir, I'll teach you later. It's really great. I got half the band doing it now. And, uh, and uh, I remember just saying, it's Joe Williams. So we were both going, oh, it's Joe Williams. Oh, it's Michael McDonald. And so we were like, oh, my God. It was just one of the great nights. And here we are again. So thanks again, Harry. It's a, such, a, such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Um, so this next bit of business, uh, this is the next bit of business, right? Is the vocalese business, yeah. right? This, this, uh, w w for the last about six years, we've been doing a little vocalese section in the show. And vocalese is basically how it started was taking, it wasn't just recognizing the melody of the song, but then listening to a popular record of that melody and, and hearing a jazz person play a solo on it and say, well, that's also something we could write a lyric to. And the people that we first, I think, recognized doing it Actually, the first one was, uh, for me, was Joni Mitchell's record of Twisted, which was written, the lyric was written by Annie Ross. She wrote this lyric to this solo, and uh, she was part of a group called Lambert Hendricks and Ross. And they, had a, they had a hit on a song called Cloudburst. They had a record called Sing a Song of Basie, where they would not only sing to the lyric of Jumpin' on the Woodside, but then they'd write lyrics to Lester Young's solo and Buck Clayton's solo and all the other things that happened. It was quite intricate and quite amazing. And so we've... Actually, I, it's never we. Jessica, I would say, Jessica, here's a song that I think would be great for the show. Could you write a lyric to this? And, uh, and she can. And so, because uh, she hears it the same sort of way. And this, and this example comes from two songs from different places, but still vocally songs. The bookends of the middle song is a song called Traffic Jam by James Taylor. So you'll hear that on either side. And in the middle, is a song called The Kicker by Joe Henderson, a, a jazz saxophone player from a record called Song For My Father by Horace Silver. That song began like this. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. which was the beginning of Ricky Don't Lose That Number. And from the same record, see, they took it from the same place. So we're tying in the world, like, you can't believe it. <laughs> so, here is uh, Jessica's lyric uh, to the kicker. The, the lyric is uh, it's similar to, you know, it's just a very interesting subject matter that she will tell you about. Yeah. Well, when John said traffic jam, I thought, oh, stuck, someone's stuck. So when, what, what do I know about being stuck? And I realized, oh, I do, because when I was 24, I uh, was engaged to be married to a lovely fella, another musician. Um, <laughs> and I realized that 10 years later, when I was th almost 34, I was still in engaged to be married to the same guy. So uh, that's, at that point, I realized, oh my gosh, no. So I went to this gentleman, and I said, uh, it's been 10 years now of engagement. What do you think? Do you think you'd like to get married? Is it time to get married? And he looked at me, and he smiled, and he went, <laughs> So uh, that, at that moment, I realized this is what the song is about, and that moment in time uh, that when he who hesitates is lost. Damn this traffic jam, how I hate to be late, hurts my motor to go so slow. Time again, hold my supper, be cold, damn this traffic jam. I heard so very many people say, don't you let the time slip away. If you gotta beg your bar, don't wake up until tomorrow All the things that you can do today I waited, hesitated, just about the question, suggestion Well, if you think that you found your girl, better grab her, better grab her Cause every couple day, once you look, fly away, so we better make at her I woke up, when she spoke up, said to bring a ring on her finger She said to bring an ASAP, yeah, she's history, she's a mystery I hop into my car, and I love me, and we are out of lockdown She's locked down Damn this traffic Damn this traffic jam. He was not the type of man with any sort of a real conviction. Just a certain lover who took up for an instant. But now it's time to have a Damn this traffic. Damn this traffic jam. Well, she could have been a really good woman, but maybe that would suffer. A prophetic thing. Some way of there's seeing a prayer for an old lonely sinner.
for those of you who haven't seen us before, we do love to do a lot of students on him just because he's like, the greatest living artist, and we're so lucky, I think, to live, to live when he's been alive. And uh, he was actually here the other night, sat right where you're sitting. I know, no pressure. <laughs> but he wrote us a, lo a lovely letter that I decoupaged and put in our living room. <laughs> These two songs are um, from shows that changed my life uh, at a very, very early age. The, the, the cast albums of them did. And um, it's about a, these are two songs about uniquely expressive about the passage of time and memory, I think. Fade the longings die. You 
Remember was uh, from a little night music, and uh, the word he didn't take is uh, from Olive, which is a pretty extraordinary song. And we thank you for coming out. Thanks for coming out to hear us, and thanks to Conrad, Martin, and Kevin. Doing such a great job, Conrad Pashkutsky, Martin Pizzarelli, Kevin Canner in the band. In the band. And uh, <laughs> we'd like to remind you. Uh, we know you have a choice in cabaret. Uh, that uh, <laughs> for choosing us this evening, and uh, remember, and we're grateful that of your appearance here this evening because if a cabaret act should fall in the forest and there's no one there to hear, I think you understand what we're trying to say. And also, we'd like to remind you uh, one other thing. Well, we'll remind you, just tell you. Uh, we have a radio show, Jessica and I, called yes, Radio Deluxe, so and uh, so six people who listen to it are here. Woo! Please tell me about it. It's, uh, it's on in 45 cities, and uh, we're on the jonathanchannel.org here in New York, and uh, around the country and Canada. So even in Canada, you, you, can't, you can't lose us. Mexico's a whole different story. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Baby, baby, when we start to dance With all the other 
Since uh, opening night in Jessica, she uh, <laughs> she has a, a compression fracture in her back since opening night and has been working up here and uh, doing actually yeoman's work, holding up the band. And, uh, in, so, the band? in the band? In the band. Uh, I, I'm letting her get her Chardonnay for the encore tonight <laughs> while I play uh, from Monday on. I thought we played from Monday on for you, which uh, Bing Crosby wrote with Harry Barris, I believe, and was made popular for me by the Joe Mooney Quartet. So here is from Monday on. How do we start? We just play time up front, right? And B flat. You remember, right? As you can tell, we're faking this. What? <laughs> two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
one day on and all oh, things will be different. Don't try to tell me different, because you know I'm right. Here we go. Well, I'm sure and hard, hip hooray, when you say you love on the rental base. Oh, so happy. We'll be happy if I'm right.